Whoa! Look who Sheriff Clark just completely destroyed right after getting new job from Trump. Sheriff David Clark has gotten a reputation for saying it like he sees it, and that is a man that obviously has 2020 vision. His no bull approach to United States laws and policy has earned him the respect of many conservatives, including the President of the United States. Clark has taken a hardline stance on illegal immigration, punishment for criminals, and just about everything else that he sees as a problem that could put Americans in danger. Clark would absolutely be considered the antithesis to someone like Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg's vehement anti right, anti Trump political stance has put her at odds with everyone who isn't a season ticket holder to the liberal circus that is what the left has become. At one point, most of America considered itself a Democrat back when being a Democrat meant being for the little guy. Now, it seems, they just can't progress themselves into oblivion fast enough. Clark has officially pitted himself against Goldberg in what can only be described as an epic burn, following her rant about her feelings on TSA. The response to Clark saying what we've all been thinking is absolutely fantastic to watch. Via World News Politics Whoopi Goldberg's ego is the only thing bigger than her waistline. Sheriff David Clark attempted to quiet Whoopi Goldberg's fears that a TSA agent would attempt to feel up the aging actress. The hosts of ABC's The View responded to an internet video where a young boy was extensively frisked by an older TSA agent. In the video, the 11-year-old boy had his groin and buttocks padded down. He's checking in places where, you know, you can't touch me. I would end up in jail," exclaimed Goldberg, reacting to the viral video, insinuating that she would attack the TSA agent. Hopping onto Twitter, Sheriff Clark attempted to calm Goldberg's nerves by telling her that no one would find any pleasure from navigating her numerous faults. The TSA has responded to the viral video in an attempt to calm the outrage being created by the intensive pat-down. The TSA changed their frisking policies earlier this year and some say it is more invasive. A spokesperson for the Transportation Security Administration explained that the pat-down lasted only two minutes, and was monitored by the boy's mother and two cops. However, the boy's mother is angry. Whoopi Goldberg was furious and threatened to harm a TSA agent if he did the same. However, in 2010, Whoopi Goldberg made major headlines for defending the government agency. Apparently, for Goldberg, the TSA is great when Obama is in office but pure evil under President Trump. I do think, the TSA, is doing a good job, said Goldberg, speaking with Mike Huckabee. Continuing, she stated, No it's not comfortable and it's not the way I would like to live, but if it's going to keep me from getting blown out of the sky, you can check anything you want. And if you feel something you like and squeeze it, what am I going to do? Sheriff David Clark is correct, no one wants to touch Whoopi. It's great that Sheriff Clark is taking on idiot live celebs now that he's in his new role. Even before Trump hired him he was firing awesome broadsides at looser scum like he did to Whoopi's favorite terrorist group, Black Lives Matter last year. Vi Fox Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark joined Yuma Pimaraju on America's Election HQ to rail against the hateful ideology of Black Lives Matter. Sheriff Clark said the slimy people who comprise the Black Lives Matter movement are racist because they preach racial superiority. That is a separatist movement, Sheriff Clark stated. We've gotten away from that in the United States. The American people decided they don't put up with that crap anymore. He pointed out that he's been a longtime critic of Black Lives Matter, and their recent actions, like interrupting a moment of silence for fallen officers during the Democratic National Convention, reinforces just how dangerous that ideology can be. It's dangerous, it's hateful, and I wish the Southern Poverty Law Center would add them to the list of hate groups in America, Sheriff Clark said. He said that the uptick in law enforcement officers who have been ambushed or killed in the line of duty can be attributed to the anti-police rhetoric that is spewed by groups like Black Lives Matter. A war has been declared on the American police officer, and it's been fueled by this anti-police sentiment. But back to the matter at hand. 
Goldberg's progressive views on how to deal with those that you feel might be taking advantage of a compromising situation not only tells us what she thinks of herself but how she feels that it's okay to treat others. Yes, of course, we shouldn't let ourselves be violated but assaulting a TSA officer because they're doing their job seems like it might be a little out of line. No doubt she would say that it happened because she was black, or because she was liberal, but the fact is that TSA has a job to do and while she was trying to make a point, she took the attention off of the person that was actually, possibly violated and put it on herself, where she seems to like the attention to stay. Well, if she wants the limelight, I guess she's gotten it. I understand that it's a radical feminist's birthright to assume that everyone wants to inappropriately touch her and steal away her virtue, but it's possible that she should consider her audience and whether her audience has eyes before saying things like this. While I don't advocate rudeness, I do advocate for truth, and she really had this particular truth coming. Coming.